if you're going to use contact a lot, and especially if you're going to use contact through a purchase package of complete, which comes with a lot of different instruments and libraries, you're going to have to become very familiar with native access. Native access is the way that native instruments authorizes, installs, and manages your contact libraries. And this is important because more and more instruments are, they're sort of paring down the engines and really keeping it to this instrument runs in contact or this instrument runs on reactor rather than having separate engines. So this way you can manage your libraries, see how large they are and install them or remove them as needed through native access. So you're gonna to wanna to run the app first, just run it from your applications folder. Uh, it's everything is alphabetical typically in that folder and you just go ahead and run it. Now, once you've got native access, you may have to add the serial for contact. So you'll click on add a serial in the upper left corner and you'll enter your serial number. And once you've done that, it's going to add it to your available products that are not installed. So you'll see right now I've got a thing here that is selected not installed and I could install everything and that would put everything all in one place or I can install things one at a time as needed. As you see, I've got some stuff that's not installed. I just have a very large, vast library of instruments that I can put on. So I can also check for available updates here by clicking there right underneath it. And that's where it'll check to make sure that all my instruments are up to date. If there's any updates that are available, it will download them and install them. So there's no more download this update and then you have to delete it off your desktop when you're done, which was really annoying if you had a ton of different updates before. And then finally, install products right there. So you can see I've got the full version of these products. And as I move the mouse over things, I can reinstall. So like action strikes, action strings, all of these are contact libraries. They're not instruments on their own, so they run inside of contact. If I click on this little three dots here, I can see the information about it. I can see where it's installed. So if you need to know how much space that library is taking up on a specific drive, you can find out where it's stored, and then you can see the change log for that library as well. If you need to refresh, like if you just added a serial and it's not showing up, you can click the refresh button and it will refresh all of that off of the server. And of course, if you need to go to the um, little thumbnail view here, it makes it a little easier to find an instrument if you want to just look by the logo. But I tend to keep it alphabetical for myself with the little tiny thumbnails because I just have so many instruments, as you see. And a lot of these, you know, have been installed over the years. They've come with different versions of Complete, but a lot of them are third parties as well. And the third party instruments, many of them you can't install from here. So don't get too um, you know, caught up in, oh my God, you know, this one says add library instead of install. If it says add library, it's a third party instrument that you need to add in a different way. We'll go into how to do that a little later on. So don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong. So you're gonna wanna install and authorize everything right from here. And inside of Native Access, if you need to, you can open up Preferences by going here to the upper right corner. And that's where if you want to put things on an external sample drive, you can do so. Or if you want to keep your download cache in a different folder. So remember, every time you update and download, if an instrument is 10 gigabytes, you'll actually need 20 gigabytes of space if you're installing it on your main drive because you need 10 gigabytes for the download and then it installs it, which takes up 10 gigabytes of space, and then it'll delete the installation file, but at some point you're going to have a duplicate there that it will delete when it's done with. So that's another reason. I mean, there's a multitude of reasons why you should keep your samples on a external or a separate hard drive from your main one, but that is definitely one of them. So you can change where the content is installed. You can change where the application is installed and you can change where the um, downloads go to. Also on settings, you can just decide whether or not you want to allow them to track usage data. If you want to be a bro, be a helpful guy or girl, uh, that would be really great because then the rest of us that use these instruments, we're all contributing to the bug reporting and making sure that um, you know the instruments are as efficient and bug-free as they can be.